Shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 633, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level over the amount paid in the prior fiscal year. So we have a table, fiscal year 2018, just 39 weeks remaining in that year. $36,404 would be the estimated increase in 2019 for the full 52 weeks. It would be an estimated increase of $53,483. In 2020, the estimated increase would be $41,813. And in 2021, a uh, partial 13-week uh, period would be an estimated increase of $8,975. And to further raise and appropriate $36,404 for the current fiscal year, such sum representing the additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement over those that would be paid at current staffing levels. A majority vote is required. This is, uh, article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 7-1-1, in the fiscal impact note from our finance department, the estimated 2018 tax impact on the $36,404 is 1.1 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 10? Moved by Mr. Bean. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. Is there someone who would like to uh, discuss? Uh, open discussion on Article 10. I see Mr. Sullivan. This is, as I mentioned earlier, uh, one of these articles is collective bargaining uh, agreement per RSA 273A3. It's not subject to amendment, but it's certainly uh, subject, um, to discussion. Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Monterey, uh, Jamie Sullivan, I'm the Deputy Town Manager. Um, and just to go over quickly, uh, all of these collective bargaining as they come up. We'll call anyone's attention if you want to see the specifics of this and the actual tentative agreements they are up on the town's website. Uh, this is Article 10 is the Teamsters. Um, it's a three-year agreement, 2.7% uh, for each of the three years. Uh, there's some language that we corrected in here with regard to the uh, recognition clause, uh, the discipline language, and there were some concessions and agreements with regard to health care here. Um, and in those, it's uh, throughout each of the contracts, we look to protect the town from uh, this item called the Cadillac tax part of the ACA. Um, and there's language in there so that if, if, in fact, the Cadillac tax were to come into effect, all members of the union would either move to a plan which would not affect that tax or take on the 100 percent of that tax. But we've also migrating a uh, prescription plan, which will result in cost savings to both the town and to the employees and is a prescription reimbursement pool for a finite period of time to help in that transition. In addition, there's an increase in the opt-outs uh, for the summit incentives for folks to opt out of having uh, insurance with the town. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I think I'd be happy to answer any questions folks have. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Is anyone else wishing to be yes, heard? Sir. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, this, uh, of course, was recommended by the Board of Selectmen uh, with a four to uh, nothing, uh, a four zero, and it was recommended uh, almost unanimously by the Budget Committee 711. Uh, I served on the negotiating uh, team with uh, Attorney Gerald and uh, the Assistant Town Manager, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, we would uh, enthusiastically uh, require and uh, request that uh, this be supported. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Bean. Uh, anyone else? Shirley? Ms. Doheny? Shirley Doheny for Robin Lane. Um, I was prepared to give you some information about the contract, but um, Mr. Sullivan already did that, so I won't repeat a lot of it. But I will say that um, I'm the deputy town clerk and also the new steward for the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 633 in Hampton. And as the steward, I was part of the negotiating team and um, worked on reaching the agreement with the uh, town of Hampton. Um, we believe it's a fair agreement with the town, and we would certainly appreciate a yes vote on Article 10. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Doheny. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Hello, my name is Cheryl Hildreth, and I live at 61 Carolyn Ave. I'm here today to ask your support of Article 10, which is the agreement between the Town of Hampton and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. The positions within the Town of Hampton that are represented by this contract include 
both full and part-time positions located at three locations within the town of Hampton. At the Hampton Police Department, this contract recognizes two senior secretary positions, the communications specialist supervisor, communications specialists, the animal control officer, as well as the senior custodian. At the Public Works Department, this contract recognizes Public Works Foreman, the Public Works Operations Coordinator, Public Works Transfer Station Foreman, and Vehicle Maintenance Foreman. At the Town Office, the contract recognizes the Assistant Building Inspector, the Building Department Secretary, the Deputy Town Clerk, Assistant Clerks, the Bookkeeper in the Town Clerk's Office, the Welfare Clerk, the Deputy Tax Collector, the Accounts Payable and Accounts Receivables Clerks, and the Payroll Supervisor in the Finance Department. Unless Article 10 is passed by the voters of Hampton, those of us that serve the residents of the Town of Hampton that are in these positions will go for a third consecutive year without a raise. We would also like to invite anyone who would like to meet the people currently serving in these positions to the 401 Tavern on Thursday, March 8th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And we would be happy to share with you what we do to serve the Town of Hampton. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hildreth. Ms. Considine. Good morning. My name is Vivian Considine. I live at One Colonial Circle. I am the Deputy Tax Collector for the Town of Hampton. As Sharon mentioned, the positions that are covered by the Teamsters contract are not so easily recognized as some of the other contracts, for example, fire or police. Um, as Teamsters, we have served you at the tax office. Um, we have served you when you registered your vehicles, registered to vote, licensed your dogs, or obtained vital records. Maybe you have talked with us when you call the police department. Um, you have always also dealt with us when you obtained building permits or yard sale permits. We also have a member of, number of Teamsters that work behind the scenes in the building department in accounts receivable and accounts payable for the town. Um, we also know how important secretaries are. We have two at the police department as well as a custodian that takes care of the town's police department buildings. Our annual control officer, as Cheryl said, is also a teamster. We also must not forget the foreman at the co and coordinators at Public Works who oversee care of the roads, transfer stations, and vehicle maintenance. In closing, you may not have had an opportunity to meet all the Teamsters that serve the residents of the town of Hampton, but together we have over 240 years of experience and service with the town of Hampton. We would really appreciate your vote on Article 10. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Considine. Chief Sawyer. Uh, Rich Sawyer, 5 Blake Wayne. I serve as your uh, police chief and your emergency uh, management director. Uh, I'm speaking in favor of this article. Um, I think sometimes what gets lost in what goes on in town is we see the great work the first responders do, and what people don't realize, in order for us to do our job, we have to have people from this work group handling things back in the building and getting things done so we can better serve the public. The folks in the police department, they answer the phone. They're the ones who make sure that you get a police officer quickly if you're in need. Uh, we saw during that last storm of the flooding that those were members of this work group that were clearing the roads so the fire department and police department could get there to try to help you out. And I think sometimes we forget about these, these folks, the, the jobs they do because they're not up in the forefront. And I would just ask that it's time, you know, after three years, it's time to give these folks their due. And we are falling a little bit behind our competitor, uh, comparables. And in order to staff, as we've heard from the manager, the number of folks that are leaving public works, but we're also going to experience that in the police department. So I think this article is necessary. Thank you. Hey, Chief Sawyer. Mr. Griffin. Rick Griffin, 529 Ocean Boulevard. I'd just like to say that I'm the, I was the one that wasn't there for that particular uh, meeting when this went through. So I want to voice my full support. These people have been... Um, I think this is long overdue after three times. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Article 10 will appear on the ballot and we'll move on.